This is tutorial number 47, and it covers the drawing views within SOLIDWORKS. For this tutorial, we will be using the drawing that we created in tutorial number 45. Now to start off, let's click Projection View, and let's click the drawing in the top left. Now, once you click it, you're able to make a projection any way you want from it. Now let's make a projection to the bottom right. Click OK. And now we've made a projection from our top left drawing. Now with the projection view, you can make as many as you want with whichever orientation you want. So let's do another one from the bottom left. Click OK. And let's put these two side by side like that. So now you can see a couple more angles and different views of the part. Now let's click section view. And what section view is, is that you're able to cut through one of the drawings and you're able to see right through that drawing from where you cut. So let's cut this one down the middle. So let's make a drawing, click a line, and let's make it down the middle. And let's make this section view to the left. And if you zoom in, you're able to see that from the cut we made down the middle, you're able to see the grooves and everything down the middle that we cut. Now we're also able to do this for a side. So let's click OK, click Section View, and let's cut this one down the middle here. Click to the side, and you're able to see the section view that we cut out from there, right here. And you're able to call it whatever you want. So let's call this one JP. Click OK, and then that's Section View JP. Now we're also able to use Detailed View, so let's click that. And what you have to do is draw a circle around a specific detail of the part that you want to see better. So for this, let's look at the groove that we've cut in a little better. So let's draw the circle. And now click here. And from that circle that we drew, as you can see around C, it shows a detailed view of the grip. So what this does is if you have a specific detail of the part which you can't see quite well in the drawing, you just draw the circle and you're able to make a much more clear and more detailed view of that specific detail of the part. And this concludes our tutorial on the drawing views within SOLIDWORKS.